What's up everybody? Pumpkin here. So we have Crimson Curse. It just came out uh, about two days ago and I thought I would show you a Dana deck that I've been playing on ladder. Um, this is oriented around uh, movement synergy with cards like uh, Sentry and the Dryad Matron, which we'll get into a little later. Um, but for those of you who don't know, Dana allows you to play a card from your deck uh, whenever you want. It's basically like a royal decree, except you can use it on units or specials whenever you want. Um, granted, there is some deck building requirement. You have to put specific uh, categories into your deck to increase the uh, minimum or the maximum provision that you can pull out. Uh, in the game, there are currently 12 different main categories. So an example for this would be uh, Ithlin is an elf. Um, the dragon, this is a gnome, etc. etc. Um, so typically you want about 10 or 11. Um, I'm running 11 in this deck because I want to be able to consistently pull out Ithlin if I need it. Um, the downside is you do have to run Runestone down here. It's not a good card, but it's the only card that fulfills the alchemy. Um, if you don't want to play this, you have to play a tactic, and the three tactics in Squiatel are all pretty bad outside of Gambit, but Gambit doesn't fit in the deck, so um. You either play the Runestone or you don't play the Runestone and you don't have the option to pull out Ithlin. Uh, that's up to you. You can always drop Runestone for like a Panther or another Smuggler. Anyways, um, in terms of play style, um, this deck does well in a long round simply because Fav into Water of Broccolon is very strong. Water of Broccolon, when you tutor it off of Fav, gets you two Dryad Fledglings with Harmony, which are kind of like Thrive Engines for Scoia'tael. Um, yeah. So typically I go three cards deep into round one. Sometimes I go a little deeper depending on uh, my opening hand. What I really, really like doing if I lose coin flip and have tactical advantage is I play tree and boar first. I really like this. I'll go turn one tree and boar on the back row and tactical advantage it. There's no tall removal in the meta right now. Nothing can kill this. Worst case scenario, it gets locked, which isn't that big of a deal because you play a ton of engines. So if this gets locked, it means another one of your engines later on is gonna survive. So. I love doing this. It's also very good against Detlaf because uh, they like to play a bunch of cards that have dominance and having a 10 point unit on the board is very strong. Uh, and when you do activate its ability, you can use, uh, you can pull out your Broccolon Sentinels. So uh, basic idea, try to win round one, not always. Um, if you lose, or if you win coin flip and you go f second, um, I typically don't try to win the round unless my opponent isn't playing anything, right? If it's clear that your opponent's playing really garbage tempo, you take the round. Um, but if your opponent is putting an ample amount of uh, strength on the board, I typically play three or four cards and get out. Uh, ideally, you play cards like uh, Dwarven Agitator, Skirmishers, Ithlin on like Skags that you, yeah. So I'll run through the deck really quickly. Um, Ithlin. Very strong card on Skags, you get to double up the value. You get to pull it off uh, Dana with this list because you do have 11 of those tags. Uh, and it can be good on the Immune Dragon if you um, are playing against a control deck. Uh, Dragon, another very important tag. It's just a good card, very strong against control. Barnabas, so Barnabas wasn't seeing a lot of play um, pre-Crimson Curse, but well, <laughs> we have Dryads now. So Barnabas is consistently 12 points and 12 for 10 is really strong there's no doubt about that on top of that um you get the harmony proc because it's the only gnome in the game at the moment um when you play this and you have dryad fledglings or like sursa on the board you get an extra one to three points on barnabas so barnabas can be up to like 15 points when you play him which is crazy phenomenal card um also all of these cards you can pull off of dana so like towards the end of round three uh you can use dana to pull off barnabas um also dana don't use dana in round one ever I would rather lose on even in round one than use Dana because Dana is just it's just so many points. Don't use Dana in round one. Uh, Water of Broccolon, very strong card with uh, Fav. Um, you never want to play this by itself, otherwise you only spawn one dried fledgling. So typically you always want to pull this with uh, Fav. So definitely mulligan this card away all the time. You never want this in your hand. Malayan, strong removal, health. Fav, uh, this allows you to draw Water of Broccolon, very important. Um, because the dried fledglings have harmony, um, I'll pull them up right here. So what's cool about Harmony is you can proc it in one turn with Dana. So a lot of the times I will play Fav from Dana and then I'll play a unit from my hand, let's say a Smuggler or just any engine, uh, and it'll boost the fledgling from three to four, which plays out a Gimpy range, which is really nice. Or you play Fav from hand into Water of Broccolon and then you play like an Ithlin or a Dragon or whatever out of your deck uh, and then you boost them for, uh, from three to four, which is very important uh, against Gimpy. So 
typically I like to do that. I like to play Fav and Dana in the same round because I like to get those fledglings out of the uh, three damage range. Moving along, Morn. Uh, it's a Dryad. It has a lock attached to it. If you are choosing to run, um, you can cut Morin for Siren because it's um, it's also a lock. Uh, and you can replace the Runestone with another Smuggler and run two Smugglers. Um, just note you won't be able to pull out, pull out Ithlin. So it, it's really up to you. If you want uh, less RNG on the Runestone and you want, yeah, another Hawker Smuggler, which is never bad. Having more engines is never a bad thing. Uh, you can go ahead and make that uh, change. Just be aware you can't pull out Ithlin with your leader. So it's a toss up. You can decide which you like. Uh, Tree and Pour. This is a new Crimson Curse card. Uh, this card is nuts. It is Scoia'tael Botchling, except better because the beauty of this is because it's in Scoia'tael, what you can do is whenever it moves from the range to melee, you ping for two damage. So what you can do is <laughs> once uh, when it's on melee to range, it doesn't do anything. It heals itself, which is typically nothing. Um, what you can do is you can play Dragoon and pull the tree into the back row and then reproc it again. Um, so instead of it healing for zero, you can uh, do two damage, which is really cool. So uh, it does catch people off guard. You can also do this with Bruver, but obviously we're not playing Bruver, so you can't do that. But uh, yeah, really, really strong card in Skoyatel. Very strong. Sursa, another phenomenal card uh, in Skoyatel from Crimson Curse. Damage an enemy by two. Uh, Death Wish, boost a unit in your hand by two. Obviously, this is very good with Skags. Uh, it's good removal. You don't mind playing this from Dana. Very strong card. Uh, it also has Harmony attached to it, which is great. Um, don't be afraid to use this card in round one. It's not like a super strong finisher or anything. Uh, it's a nice mid-range eight-point play. When you play it, uh, your opponent has to deal with the Harmony. Typically, they don't because it's a four-point body, and it's kind of annoying. Um, very strong card. Skags, auto-include in every Squirtle deck. Very strong with Sursa. Very strong with um, Ithlin. Very strong with Agitators. This card can get up to, like, 28 value. This card is super strong. Very good card. Um, typically, never play this in round one. Always keep it in your hand. Throw all your boosts on it. Smuggler. It's a nice engine. Um, there's a decent amount of movement, but it's a good engine. It's not terrible. So the, the idea is if you play enough engines, they can only remove so many. So yeah, sure, they might remove the Smuggler, but then maybe your um, Fledglings from Water live. So yeah, it's a toss-up. Runestone. Terrible card. But it's the only alchemy card for Squirtle in the game. If you can pull off four points, you're happy. If you can pull off an engine like a Smuggler, you that's a really good high roll. So, yeah, it's a whatever card. Play it in round one. Get rid of it. It's garbage. But you, you have to play the card. Otherwise, you can't pull out Ithlin. Crushing Trap. You need at least one trap for uh, Dana. It's a good card. It, it's solid. I mean, very, very rarely does this card get less than six value. It's a good card. Sometimes it gets up, it gets up to like 12, 18 value. So good card. Uh, Panther, another card that you need for Dana. It's a beast. Um, good removal. Solid card. Uh, Doblathana Sentry. So this is whenever an enemy unit moves, damage it by one. If you play it on melee range, uh, boost the unit by one whenever one of your cards move. Um, this card's really good because of the next card we're about to talk to, but typically 90, 95% of the time you play this on the range row. Um, this works very well with Treant Boar. Um, every time you move your Treant Boar between uh, rows, it gets plus one with Sentry. Uh, if you have two Sentries on the board, it'll do plus two every turn. Um, and it works very well with the next card, which I will skip right to, Dryad Matron. Uh, this is a three strength, uh, five provision Dryad. Every ally turn on turn and move to the rightmost spot on this row, then boost an ally unit to the left by one. So. This works for Sentry. So if you have a Sentry on the board and you play Dryad Matron, it'll it'll move to the right, it'll boost the unit to its left, and then the Sentry will boost the Dryad Matron. Um, if you have two Dryad Matrons, they will they'll like continuously flip flop. Uh, and they'll keep boosting each other. So the best case scenario is you have two Sentries and two Dryad Matrons. You start getting six points a turn every turn. That's pretty good. They're on Tree and Boar, and you can uh, add some more points. Um, yeah, it's great. I would not suggest to get too greedy, right? You shouldn't hold on to like all five of these cards and like hope for the dream. I mean, you can, but the odds that your opponent removes them or like you get bled out, it's just not worth it. Play it if you need it. Um, tree and Boy, I like playing in round one. Very rarely do I save Tree and Boy for round three because it's a really good turn one engine with tactical advantage. Um, do note the Dryad Matron, if you don't have the other Dryad Matron, you have to continuously put a unit to the right of it so that it keeps boosting. Um, you can skip one of these turns with Treant Boar. Let's say your Dryad Matrons are on the back row. 
um, and you want to play Crushing Trap, what you can do is you can time it so that when your treatment board is on the uh, the melee row, you can use the treatment board, bring it to the back, the Dryad Matron will proc on it, uh, and then you can play something like a Crushing Trap that turn. Um, this way your Dryad Matron continues to get value. Very, very good card. Uh, Sentinel, this is basically, it's thinning, it's just a good card. Um, Works really well with Treant Boar, because most people play like a 3 or 4 on turn 1 when you uh, lead with Treant Boar. This allows you to finish it off. It's a good card, good thinning. Um, it's better than Impera Brigade and Nilf Guard. Granted, the condition is much harder to reach, uh, but if you can continuously meet the condition, it's a very good card. Dragoons, obviously a good card. Um, it has never been a bad card, and it's even better because it's in a movement deck, and it can increase your Crushing Trap value. Great card. Agitator. Obviously a good card on Skags, don't really need to talk about it. Skirmisher, um, you got one slot left. Worst case scenario, you can throw the buffs from Agitator onto Skirmisher. Not a big deal. Um, I will say one thing about Agitators. If you don't draw Skags in your opening hand, just kick the card. Kick the Agitators. You don't want to get greedy. The worst thing in the world is when you get to round two and you mulligan for Skags and you don't find Skags and you got like an Agitator or two in your hand that's dead. <laughs> it's just not worth it. Uh, if you don't see Skags in your hand and your, the rest of your hand is good, just kick the Agitators. Worst comes to worst, you're going to Ithlin the Skags, uh, and typically 7 on Skags is good. I mean, sometimes you even get the Surse on it, which goes to 9. Unless you're against monsters, you're typically not finding bigger than like a 7 or 9 on their side of the board. So don't get super greedy with Agitators. Um, if you have Skags in your hand, keep them. If you don't have Skags in your hand, just get rid of them. You, you don't want to get to the end of a round and you're getting bled or you're bleeding uh, and you got a 2-point brick. Just, it's not worth it. Yeah, don't, don't get greedy with this card. There's not enough dwarfs to uh, merit getting greedy. So yeah, a little longer explanation there. Um, it's a really fun deck. If you're looking to try Dana, I highly suggest this deck. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. My APM has been too high. Um, what is this bug you're talking about? The other game, the Northern Realms game, I played um, Barnabas, and I pinged a Dryad and then Skags, and it boosted the Dryad and bo didn't boost the Skags, because I did it too quickly, so I gotta slow down. Do you know what the out of sync error is? It's just servers being, I don't know, potato. I I, I really want to know what my coin flip ratio is. <laughs> it's really low. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know, it's just an out of sync. Uh, it's a new thing that CDPR is having an issue with. I mean, I guess I don't mind losing coin flip if we draw the boar. It kind of just hard counters everything. This card works really well with the cucumber. Was consume good? Like a Rackus Queen? Sure. I got Detloff. Detloff's a good card. Not a lot of people are running uh, tall removal in the meta right now. Do you know already that Traveling Merchant last card gives you one free card? Yeah, it's a bug. Don't abuse it. Just don't do it. Got business for me. Normally I play this first, but I can get a free tick off of this. Everything is good right now. Um, everything is good. I think a lot of things are good. I don't know about everything, but yeah, there's a lot of good solid decks. I'm not going to play around at a second plumber, I don't think. Maybe I should. Like, I could play this, but they typically play Wyvern, so like, it's just kind of awkward. So did you try decks for every factions already? Yep, I've played everything. I played Northern Realm, Nilfgaard, Monsters, SK, Squaya. But as a Squayatel ambassador, I don't feel bad for playing a lot of Squayatel. You think he has a 12? I mean, I have not seen a single spear tip since patch. 
They should have never given the Unseen Elder skin to Detlaf. They should. Oh, they should have. Maybe. I, it's kind of sad that their legendary skin goes to a leader that sees no play, but... Yeah. Didn't he play his leader once? No, he used the, uh, the Wyvern. Alright, so he's going two cards under. See, I don't mind this because this deck doesn't care about Last Say. Last Say means nothing in this deck. Um, which means I don't mind this play because it means he can't push me next round, which means that we get full engine set up. He still needs a 6 here, or he has to blow leader charges. This deck doesn't have explosive cards, typically. Yeah, he doesn't really want to do that. Is Gwent worth playing again? Uh, I'll put it this way. If you have any interest in playing the game, now is the best time to play. It is at its best point right now than it has been in... I don't know, since Homecoming came out, I guess. Ugh. Can't draw a dwarf. Yeah, I had bleeding before Wyvern, correct? Any good Northern Realm stack? Um, good Northern Realm stack. Onward, Shield Ragnar is kind of fun. I don't think it's very good though, because there's a, there's a decent amount of control on ladder, which hard counters it. Um. Rip Ithlin or this. Which means we're ripping Ithlin. I could try to find a gold with this, but it's not correct. Because it's only one of these two. Think about uh Calanthe, by the way. She's kind of cute with Yen with Hubert as a finisher. I kind of like it. I'm not in love with it though. I just kind of like it. Sienna plus uh, Roche is cool. I don't think it's very strong though. So. Be not afraid. This will only hurt. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna play this first. Fade out removal potentially. I don't think this card is actually, I mean, it's a nine for eight. I just don't know why people play it so early. Well, no, I guess I do know why they play it early. They have to play it early to get value off the bleed. If he has no more removal, we're gonna start ripping two points a turn. Really? Oh, okay. 
3 p.m. <laughs> Okay, so this is incorrect. If his hand is Detlaf, K Ran, this is wrong. So the question is, does he have K Ran? And the answer is yes, he does. He always has K Ran. We're gonna do this. How does Harmony look after all? Uh, pretty good. I mean, this is a nine. Stop. Good. Um, this is actually pretty good because I can't play around Debt Laugh. So I'll just double consume. We still lock it though, right? Eh. Did we lock it? Hmm, we're losing two points to lock it. Yes? But he's played K- how does he consume it? Alright, Shane, you guys are all saying lock it. This is only correct if his last card is another consume. He would have to be running, he'd have to have Cyclops final card or like Harpy. <laughs> All right, so we saved five points, but we lost two. It wouldn't have mattered. Yeah, it would have been 54 to 55. It didn't impact the game. You owe us? No, I don't, because it had no impact on the game. <laughs> Do you think SK might not run discard as much now? I mean, maybe. It's expensive, you know? <gasps> we want a coin flip! I actually don't like winning coin flip in this. In mirrors, I'd rather go first in an engine deck. Engine decks, you want to... Lose coin flip and go first. Eh, whatever. It is what it is. It's fine. We'll pay men back for their persecution. We'll get our uh, whatever these are called cucumbers out. Lol, you keep winning, but when are you gonna hit top hundred? When I stop, start caring? I don't know. Hitting top 100 is not that hard. You just have to play the game. Ryan! Barnabas auto include? Yeah, it's a pretty good card. Pretty good card. Are Anna decks worth it? Anna or Dana? Follow me this way. Hmm. Yeah, Snowm is very good because not only is it a 12 for 10 typically, it also buffs uh, Harmony. It's a very good card. Auto includes in any Dana list. Also, it's a good Dana target. There's no reason not to play it in my opinion. Very strong card. Uh, it's a funny interaction. Bye! All my cards are high tier. We're not- we're gonna pass. I have no interest in pushing this.
Will you still love me, pumpkin? I don't know. You tell me. Will I? Nice. He's gonna drive past. I mean, I'm, I'm not 100% sure on it, but Going it's pretty likely. Dana lists, like, long rounds. I need last say. Where are the gurney players? They're playing Detlef. Detlef is just better, in my opinion. Probably don't want the Panther. I mean, am I running the risk? There's no way I brick two games in a row. Capo. Oh, boar's better. The smuggler. Because this allows me to kill things that he plays, which is important. When the white frost comes, do not eat the yellow snow. Show me the coin or sod off. There's a decent chance that this gets popped by Skags, and I'm okay with that. Bob. Bobby! Let the doe live. All right, how about this? I won't touch your card if you won't touch my cards. Deal? Hey, watch your step. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, okay. I take my deal back. That's a scary, spooky card. I retract my deal. Sorry. Deal's over. <laughs> no thanks. I'm not dealing with that. I'm good. No thanks. Oh? No! Let the dough live! Alright, they can start uh, going off on each other now. Thinking this is wrong. We've left an isolation for two. All right, have fun, girls. Going off on each other? Yeah, I mean that's what they're doing, right? They're going off on each other. What would you call it? Win this game by so many points. Every time I close my eyes, like a dark path. I don't have an elf. Oh, that's sad. They're so good together. <laughs> nice. It's not even that bad. Triple Harmony. It, it's not even that bad. Like, I'm laughing, but it's, it's honestly not that bad. It could be a lot worse. Melons, you're one dead thunder heat. Why does nobody run Dryad's Caress in a Dana list? 
It gets you six vitality and purify. Um, that's assuming your opponent doesn't remove it, right? So it's good on the immune dragon. Outside of the immune dragon, it's kind of dicey, in my opinion. Blue coin versus that laugh, so much fun. Are you being sarcastic? Um, I've actually, if I, with this deck, if I snap a, um, I'm okay losing coin flip as long as I draw tree and boar. If I draw the boar, I don't care. Because it means I can slap some shit. Uh. Yay! Love this opener. It's so good. Because it opens up your cucumbers too. You have two sentries? Yeah. Two sentries, two matrons. It's amazing against any locks from Nilfgaard. Oh, that's a new one. It's not bad. Not bad at all. What does four damage out of hand? Guess I can do this. Hey, watch your step. Plays around like a Fred and Regis. Yeah, it's okay, I guess. <laughs> He can still do it, but he has to blow a leader tick on it, so I'm okay with that, I guess. Really good. Parasite off of that ship is really strong. I'm assuming this is getting Cyclops. It'll never die. I'm okay with that. It's an engine. Yeah, sure. How does harmony work? Um, whenever you play a new tag on the board that's Squatel, harmony gets plus one. So like Dorf would be Dorf, Beast. This would be Elf. Uh, and you just keep getting plus one every time you play a new tag. New tag meaning if I played another panther, it wouldn't get plus one because I already have one on board. So you want to play lots and lots of different things, which means you don't play Call of the Forest. Call of the Forest is really bad in the Harmony, Harmony deck. I swear server sync only happens when I win coin flip. There's some bugs. There's like, I, I've seen... It, it feels like it happens pretty often with... um. We'll pay men back for the persecution. What's it called? Uh, like Caranthier on Detlaf for some reason seems like it goes off often. Goes off often. That makes sense. Why is I Foman playing Bruss? How do you chat? How do you say this card? Bruxa? Brusa? I have no idea how to say this. Bruxa? Berza? Bruxa? I see you guys are saying Bruxa, so I'm gonna assume that you guys know what you're talking about. Bruxa? Okay. Bruxa? Shit, which is it? Bruxa or Bruxa? I think we're done here. These are both high priority cards. This is a 10 right now. I don't really want to play it. I call her mommy. Oh, is it, uh... Oh, it's night. Holy shit.
I guess we're gonna keep going. Am I- okay, here's the question. Am I willing to ping that shield? For Skaggs? I lose a point. The reality is I can always play this to ping it, I lose one point. Yes? You really think he's gonna play a 10 next turn? Cause I'll just pass. I think you guys are wrong. The odds of him playing a 10 here are fairly low. Or 9, I guess, with the bleed. You lose a point because there's no 4? What do you mean? Oh my gosh, she had a 10. Free. Okay. Aye, aye, soon as I finish my pain. We lost one point. There's no way he can catch up here, because his last card in hand is probably dead left. It doesn't matter. I don't lose. I lost one point. One point's not going to change anything. Oh, pumpkin, this hand. It's popping. All right, that's a little better. You have any seasonal deck list ideas? Yeah, Squirtle Ethne deck is super strong. I think crushing is too slow. Do I mulligan? No, we're just hitting this. This works with this, I guess. It's fine. You can remove one of these, not three. Chat, how many of you guys have tested Portal? Do you guys like Portal as a card? Yay or nay? How would you rank the new leaders? How would I rank new leaders? That's pretty funny. That's actually really funny. He can't kill it anymore. I think he, he didn't calculate that correctly. <laughs> it's really awkward for him. He miscalculated that. Oh. Um, you love it in Nilfgaard? I hate portals. Portal is great. Haven't played it. Nay, it's bad. Yay, yay, yay. No. Portal 2 is better. I agree. Portal 2 was better. Not false. It thins the bad cards, but it's not like Witchers because you have to draw it in your opening hand. If you don't draw it in your opening hand, it's different, right? I want Tall Unit. Nice. So good. It's like a two for one, because we get the movement with this, plus we can put the unit in front. So we keep the tick going. Huh. Easy clap. 